I promise here we go let's get this unboxing going as I mentioned to you guys we have here is the uh, Nanak 920 and uh, I'm just pretty much gonna get this unboxed and let's just see how this is all right when we open the box it's in a nice plastic and you've got the Nanook 920 as I pull this out out of here there we go see so you've got on the back you've got Nanook 920 and I'm probably calling it the wrong thing Nanook 920 here's the uh, the hinge kind of give you guys an idea what that looks like not sure what that scuff mark is says here lifetime guarantee some arrows there pass that down here is the opening let's see what it looks like ah oh, smells so good nice it actually stays open pretty good and look at this laser cut inside this looks really good got some, a nice foam top this seems like it can come up fairly easy. It's, it's got some Velcro holding it down and then the sides. So looks like I can reuse this in the future for something else. This is where the Mavic's gonna be. You've got four battery slots, but from what I see, people use these two for their batteries. Um, it's not like a cheap foam inside. It's actually very nice laser cut inside. This is where your iPhone is gonna be, but I'm not gonna put my iPhone in there. That's going to be for the, there's a little piece that attaches to your battery that you can charge your iPhones with. Um, this you can throw some extra like propellers and anything you want to throw. Actually, this section is going to be for your, your multi-charger, which I'm, I'm, I actually purchased on eBay for about $36, so that should be arriving soon. Um, and we've got the adapter. So anyway, let's see how this works. Let's see how this is going to, how I'm going to be able to pack this. All right, guys, so we're going to right now pack. So pretty much I'm going to take my Mavic. I'm going to first fold the legs like that. And then I'm just going to flip it over, kind of make sure those are nicely folded in. Then I'm going to fold in the top. Whoops. How is that a nice? And we've got that nice folded. Now, if I am correct, I'm just gonna slip this in. Ah, very nice, nice and snug. That is not gonna move. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. So look, we just got the Mavic in there and it looks good. It's nicely snugged in there. Now we're going to take the first battery, 
Perfect. Then I have here my controller. And I'm gonna just drop that in. Now that fit nice and snug there too. Extra propellers. I wanna just drop it in here because that's much more deeper. These two wires, I don't really care about that much. That's for the extra propeller, I'll put that in there. And lastly, the, that adapter, I'm just gonna throw that in. Pretty much just throw my, my adapter in here. And I'll show you guys really quick for the, for the iPhone. So this is my, pretty much my, my 7 Plus. And if you have a 7 Plus, there it is, fits nice and snug. You know, I was a little worried for a second that I'd put my 7 Plus in there and it'll get stuck. But that pretty much covers everything for the Mavic and give you guys just an overview right there. So you've got everything in there. You've got the, the Mavic Pro, you've got the adapter. I put my, uh, my propellers there. I'm gonna have a third battery that's gonna be coming in and that's gonna be the multi-battery charger. And then in this part, I'll have a little USB that I can charge my iPhones with. Guys, let's just do a quick test. Let's say I was traveling with my Hero 5 and I wanted to also store my Hero 5. Let's see how nicely this fits. Perfect. So I've actually got a pretty sweet. This is actually really cool. I can throw my Hero 5 charging cable. I can throw that in here. I've got my Hero 5 extra battery. I can throw that in on the side. I've got a battery already in the Hero 5. So we can throw that in. So look how many things we have. So we've got right now, we've got the Hero 5. We've got a battery here. I'm gonna actually get another battery. I've got my controller. I've also got my power charger. I've got my iPhone 7, which 99.9% .9 sure I'm not gonna keep that there. Um, I've got the extra props. I may not even keep that there. I may just throw those props over here or see if it can fit in here actually. I think it'll just fit nicely in here. So let's say we pop the props in there and uh, we're good to go. I mean, this is pretty much the setup. Now let's see if we can close. Oh, nice. Here we go guys. I am actually using one hand as I had mentioned now. Because I'm pretty much just using my camera. Here we go. Here is the Nanook 920. And just wanted to show you guys what's in that box. So a little thank you card. What it's all about. It's all about the case. And yeah, the case is amazing. I mean, the quality of this case looks beautiful. You know, it's a little hesitant, I have to admit. I was a little hesitant before because I was buying an orange case and I was like, what the hell, I'm gonna walk around with this stupid orange case in my hands. And I was thinking maybe I should swap it for a black case, but I'm loving the orange case. I think it looks amazing. Let me know what you guys think, you know, put in the comments. If, if you have another case, um, share your, uh, your link below. I'd love to see what you guys have and I'd love to um, just see sort of your thoughts in the auto case. If anyone has the Nanook 920 and you know, if you can just share your experience. My goal also is to get the straps. These holes are, you know, I, I was told this, this can accommodate some straps. So I, I'm guessing, if we were to look at this, the straps would go right here. And this might be for locks, like if I wanted to reinforce this and I'm afraid someone is gonna steal my Maverick. Not sure why they're gonna go into the case to steal my Mavic when they could just take the entire case with them. But um, I believe these are for the straps or these are for the straps. I have to do a little bit more research on that. But those are the straps I'm telling you about that they do sell. Um, just give you guys an idea of what they, you know, what they have in this brochure. So, Power Claw Latching System Waterproof IP67, which is amazing. Impact resistance. Um, pad lockable. So those are the pad locks that I showed you here. Um, 
soft folding grip, which is number five, soft holding, soft grip foldable handle. So that's this, and you know, I have to agree with them. This is actually pretty soft. The quality of this case is amazing. Integrated lift stand, number six. Where is number six? I, I love the fact that it doesn't show here where number six is. I don't see a number six. Anyway, I'm guessing that's the bottom. Oh well. Um, stainless steel hardware, integrated bezel system, stackable, and lifetime guarantee. Kind of shows you, I guess you can do custom printing if you wanted to brand this, so that would be pretty cool. Maybe I can put my nice YouTube logo on there. And that's it, just pretty much a one pager. What else we've got here? So we've got this little sticker. This might look kind of cool in there. And then we've got here a care guide. I guess this is how to care for it. Telling you how to open it, how to close it. Limited warranty, returns. This I believe is if you buy the case that you can cut it. So guys, if you're gonna buy a Mavic Pro case, get it already pre-laser cut. I believe they're all the same price. They're both 129. Um, check on B&H, check on Amazon, they're gonna have them in stock. If they don't have them, you know, just give it about a week and they'll, you know, they'll get them. Um, 920, let's see the 920. Here's some, uh, here's some sizes for you guys, if you guys wanted to check that out in your board. But there's the exterior dimensions. And then here are the interior dimensions. Here's the weight. The lip depth. And the base depth. That is the uh, the Nanook 920. As you can see, my Mavic Pro is in here. You'll, you guys will see uh, part of the video down the line. I'm gonna have some uh, decals on this. Um, I think it's gonna look a little cool. I don't wanna cover too much of the grays, um, cause I like the gray. And I don't wanna have too much decal on my Mavic. Anyway, um, thanks again guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have enjoyed it, um, do me a favor, like the video below and subscribe to my channel. Talk soon.